Ray? Yeah. Thanks for being there today. She needed us. I needed you too. What I can't understand is how she could do something like this. Well, she's a kid, Val. I mean, as bright as she is, she's a kid. But mistake or not, she has to accept responsibility for what happened, and I... I think that she does. Lizzie knows what she did was wrong. I'm just so frightened for her. I know. So am I. But that's why we need to be there for her. Both of us. Think we can? I think we have to. this yeah I think this will work I'm so scared about tomorrow you don't think I could go to jail do you you just stop it well I'm not going to med school either there are plenty of other things to be than a doctor or a lawyer or a teacher might as well be dead with Janie busy You think Janie hates me? I know Janie doesn't hate you. Well, her mother does. She thinks I did it on purpose. The only good thing about any of this is at least my parents aren't fighting anymore. You think they're gonna get back together? I don't know. What is this? Oh, that's been there for months. I'm not drinking anymore. <sighs> Me either. But ever since Janie died, it's like I can't even look at alcohol. Yeah, I know what you mean. And Miss Williams, you are aware of the severity of the charges brought against you? Yes, Your Honor. And you understand the possible consequences to an admission of guilt to these felony charges of reckless driving and vehicular homicide? Yes. How do you plead? Guilty, Your Honor. My daughter Janie was just 18 when she died. Just one month before she was to graduate with honors from Centennial High School. On the night of her death, I put Janie's hair up in a ponytail. It was something that I always did for her when she was little, and it was one of the few things she still let me do. The next time I saw my daughter, she was lying on that table in the hospital, and the only thing I recognized was her ponytail. There was nothing else left that was Janie. So I stand here today, Your Honor, not asking for revenge, but pleading for justice. Please, Your Honor, send the right message. Let everyone in this community know, parents, teachers, students, that to kill with a car is no different than to kill with a gun. After all, the result is the same. And let everyone know that what Lizzie Williams did was not simply a terrible mistake. It was murder. Thank you, Mrs. Palmer. Ms. Williams, would you like to say anything before final sentencing? Yes, Your Honor. Janie Palmer was my best friend. We sat next to each other on the first day of kindergarten. 
and we never stopped sitting together since then. The night Janie died, we were sitting together. I... I killed her because I drank and drove. When you're my age, Your Honor, nobody believes the things adults warn you about can ever happen to you. The truth is, Janie and I drank and drove each other several times. So did our friends. Nothing ever happened. But that night it did. And Janie's dead. No matter what punishment I receive today, it will never erase the memory of how she died. <laughs> and the pain that I've caused the Palmer family and my own. I'm truly sorry. And I do accept responsibility for my actions. But, but I also believe that it is not fair to compare me to a common murderer. I loved Janie. It was a terrible mistake. I'm sorry. Before I pronounce sentencing, I would first like to express this court's sympathy to the Palmer family, and again to thank Mrs. Palmer for coming here today and sharing her thoughts with us. Unfortunately, in a case like this, the uh, emotional needs of a victim's family are often at odds with the severity of punishment a court decides. In this instance, I do believe this was a terrible mistake, a terrible tragedy, an accident in the worst sense of the word. Elizabeth Williams did, in fact, act irresponsibly, but she also acted without premeditation or malice, and I believe her remorse is genuine, and that the consequences of her behavior will follow her for the rest of her life. Therefore, I hereby sentence you, Elizabeth Williams, to a suspended term of five years in prison, during which you will be on probation. In addition, this court orders you to attend 40 hours of alcohol education and prevention and 150 hours of community service. This court is adjourned. No jail, Lizzie. No jail. <laughs> we can go home now, honey. <laughs> this is not fair. Janie's dead, and all you have to do is sit in some classroom. Nancy, please. What do you want from her? I want her to be punished for what she did. Don't you think I'll punish myself every day for the rest of my life? At least you have a life, Lizzie. Janie's dead. So sorry for keeping you waiting. <laughs> but with graduation coming up, everything is so hectic around here. No, that's completely fine. Um, perhaps we should step over this way a bit. Oh, wait a minute. The reason I asked to speak with you, Mrs. Williams, is because of graduation. 
Okay. There's going to be a memorial for Janie Palmer at the graduation ceremony. Nancy Palmer has requested that Lizzie not attend. What? I know this has been a trying time for all of you, but uh, out of respect for Mrs. Palmer's feelings, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if Lizzie didn't participate. I have worked very hard. I've been a very good student. I know, and I understand how you feel. No, Lizzie's right. This isn't fair. Nancy Palmer is so twisted with grief, all she wants to do is hurt Lizzie any way she can. I hear what you're saying. But I cannot afford to have a cloud hanging over this ceremony. It's simply not fair to the other students and their families. So are you asking or telling us not to attend? Right now, I'm asking. I'm sorry. She deserves to be there. I have been looking forward to graduation all year. I know. You and Daddy and I will talk about this tonight. Is any of this ever going to end? Not right away. It's going to take some time for everyone. If I had been the one who died and Janie had been driving, would you hate her too? I don't know. I need a drink. What? What do you mean? I'm thirsty, Mom. What did you think I meant? Let's go to a bar and do some shots of tequila? Stop it, No, Lizzie. you stop it! All of you looking at me like I'm some sort of criminal. That is not true. I simply asked you an innocent question. It didn't sound innocent to me. I'm sorry, Ben. Okay? Mom really hates me. She doesn't want me at graduation. She thinks I did it on purpose. What happened was an accident. And everybody knows that. Janie's mother's just out for some revenge. What should I do? I want to go, but if she doesn't want me there... Lizzie, you belong at graduation. Janie would want you to be there. And if you don't go, then neither do I. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we're friends forever, right? Come on, let's go. Hey, wait for me! You're in a lot of trouble. No! That's a holding, that's a holding. Whoa! Oh! That's good, I got that's a foul. That's a foul, you don't oh. No! Hands, hands! He's on it, he's moving, he's going! He's going! Slow in your old age, Dad! What? Alright, alright, get ready for this. Oh, oh. <laughs> Meg! Time to start your homework. There's the whistle. Come on, in. Oh, can we play later? No, no, I gotta talk to, to Lizzie and Mom. Here, I got it. Oh, thanks, honey. Come so, I guess we need to talk about graduation, right? I guess so. Kate says that if I'm not allowed to go to graduation, she won't go either. What? She'll boycott graduation if I can't go. Lizzie, Kate has nothing to do with this. Yes, she does. She's my friend. She said she's going to talk to other kids, too. This is not a game. Lizzie, your mom is right. Let's not make matters worse here. So what are you saying? That I should miss graduation? Maybe. Under the circumstances, honey, it's probably the best thing. <laughs> Maybe you think I should go to jail, too. Lizzie, come on. We're trying to be practical here. We don't want another confrontation with Nancy at the ceremony and, and ruin everybody's day. Fine, then I won't go. Who cares about a stupid graduation anyhow? I found your math book in my room. What were you doing in there? Mom told me I'd go get something. Are you still drinking, Lizzie? Did you tell Mom? Did you? No. 
Well, are you? It's none of your business. But it's really bad for you. So is killing my best friend and having my entire life ruined. But you wouldn't know anything about that, because you don't know anything. It's not getting any better. Well, it will. Really. I hope so. Makes me feel like some kind of serial killer. Once school is out, you won't have to deal with him anymore. I won't have to deal with any of this. Can I have a sip? <gasps> Lizzie, you put vodka in this? Shh. I thought you said you weren't drinking anymore. I just need it to calm me down sometimes, that's all. Come on, you're the only friend I have left. Don't make such a big deal out of it. I gotta go, Lizzie. <laughs> Everything that you've gone through, maybe you need a break. Is that what everybody say? Give me that. Lizzie, you are drinking too much. You gotta stop. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm worried about you. Worry about yourself. I already have a mother. What do you mean? I was hoping you'd know what I mean. Is Lizzie drinking? Is she Kate? Lizzie would kill me if she knew that I had talked to you. She is my best friend. I know. I'm really worried about her. So am I. Please. Please tell me what's going on. I think she's a lot more depressed than she lets on. And she used to drink to have fun, but now it's just a crutch. So she is drinking? Yeah, too often. Thank you, Kate. You're a good friend. I gotta go. Um, please, just don't tell Lizzie that we talked. No, I promise. I know things have been really tough um, for it, you. It's just going to be another one of those speeches about how you're always there for me. I know. That's not quite what I was going to say. So what is it? 
Lizzie, I'm worried about you. Mom, I'm fine. That's what you always say. Do you want me to say I'm miserable? I want you to be honest. With me and with yourself. You have to feel overwhelmed sometimes. I do. I'm sure there are times you just want to block all this out. So what else is new? Lizzie, are you drinking? Do I look like I'm drinking? Do I act like I'm drinking? Do I seem drunk to you? I don't mean the second. Then what do you mean? You know what I mean. Kate talked to you. This has nothing to do with Kate. Yeah, it sure it does. Ever since Kate stopped drinking, she thinks everybody's an alcoholic. I went through the liquor cabinet. <laughs> if I was gonna drink, you think I would drink your stuff? No, I would get someone else to buy it for me so you wouldn't know. Is that what you do? If I had a drinking problem, don't you think you would know? I'm your daughter. I live with you. Lizzie, I have always trusted you and believed you when you said you were telling me the truth. I don't want to stop trusting you now. There's nothing to worry about. Okay? She's drinking again, I'm sure of it. Well, I just spoke to her last night. She seemed fine. What happened to set all this off? Oh, I think everything's happened. That's the problem. Maybe it's all this graduation stuff. I hope we did the right thing by keeping her out of it. I don't know anymore. Oh, how did everything get so screwed up so fast? Seems like everything changed when we started drifting apart. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Maybe she needed me a lot more than whoa, I did. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We can't start blaming ourselves for this. Lizzie is old enough. She needs to accept responsibility for what she did and how she's going to deal with it. Obviously, she's dealing with it by drinking. Well, we need to do something. I mean, at the very least, she should be grounded. No more of these parties, no more cars. Oh, my God. What if she drinks and drives again? Well, then if she gets caught, she goes to jail. Maybe that's what she wants. Maybe she wants to be punished. We have to help her. I think I used to complain about changing diapers. I'm glad we have each other again. So am I. What happened? I had things to do. What is going on? You expect me to thank you for telling my mother I'm a drunk? Maybe you want to tell the coach to our very you want to announce it at graduation. Your mom came to me. You didn't have to tell her. Lizzie, you have got to stop drinking. What are you going to do? You going to kill yourself? I told you it's none of your business. Yes, it is. I'm your friend and I'm worried about you. Yeah, like you worried about Janie. What is that supposed to mean? If you hadn't given me my keys back that night, Janie would still be alive and nothing would have happened. So now it's all my fault. You knew how trashed we were. How could you say that to me? Easy. It's true.
Excuse me. Well, I have to do my homework. You're lucky. School's over for you. Yeah, I'm really lucky. I didn't tell Mom. About what? About the bottle. Gee, thanks. Why are you still drinking, Lizzie? Who says I'm drinking? Didn't I tell you to stay out of my room? I don't want you to drink anymore. Please, why won't you just stop? Just stay out of my room! Although today is a day of great celebration, it should also be a day of reflection. And that's why, before we begin, I'd like all of you I'll to see you stand inside. and Bye -bye. join me in a moment of silence to honor the memory of Jane Palmer, an honor student and friend of many of you, who died last month in a tragic automobile accident caused by illegal and criminally irresponsible drinking and driving. Hi. What do you want? I didn't go to graduation because your mother didn't want me there. Nobody wanted you there. I know you're going away for the summer soon, and I wanted to say goodbye. Oh, is that why you came out here? Ben, who is it? Missy. I know what I did was horrible. <laughs> and nothing can make it right. But I was Janie's friend. I loved her. Lizzie. Today, of all days, I can't deal with this, okay? I wish it had been me, and not Jane. Lizzie, please don't come here again. Jogging at South Beach. Have you been drinking? No. I'm just having a really bad day. It's all. Just leave me alone. Lizzie, I... Hi, this is Ray. <gasps> leave a message at the beep. Ray? Call me as soon as you get in. I, uh, it's about Lizzie. Lizzie, Lizzie, hey, hey, we missed you at graduation. How'd it go? It was pretty boring, actually. Can we just talk? Are you so mad at me? Can we just forget it? No. I mean, I'm the one that should be mad. What you said about that night and Janie that really hurt. Fine. It wasn't your fault. I deserve to die, not Janie. Seth? Seth, I didn't see Lizzie's car outside. Okay. What? She's not supposed to drive. 
She said she was going to the library and the bus doesn't go by there after five o'clock. I could have picked her up. This is so... I'm going to the library. If she gets caught driving that car... You can go to jail for that. Why don't you turn me in? You're good at that. Give me your keys. I am not going to let another friend of mine die. I'm not your friend, remember? I don't care. You have to give me your keys. I just want away from you. Lizzie, let go. <sighs> and put us all out of our misery. If you ever drink and drive again, I will. Go away! Shut up! Leave me alone! What are you going to do? I've been running all down! Go away! No, 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 Mick. She, she just had to have some stitches, but she's going to be fine. Um, listen, we should be home within the hour, so if anybody calls, don't tell them what happened, okay? Um, oh, listen, I gotta right. go, honey. I love you. Bye-bye. She said I could go. You realize what you've done here tonight? Dad, can we just go, please? No. What you did tonight could have ruined your life. Destroyed this family, maybe even killed somebody else. I'm sorry, okay? No, it's not okay. Your mother and I have been over backwards here to be supportive, but enough is enough. After all you've been through, how in God's name could you drink and drive, Lizzie? How? I don't know. Well, that's not good enough. It's not. What are you trying to do to yourself? Everybody hates me. I hate me. Lizzie, we don't hate you. We love you. I mean, that's why we're so upset. We're, we're trying to figure out what we can do to help. But you've got to tell us. Please. I just want Tina to come back. And all this pain to go. Hi everybody, my name is Tony and I'm an alcoholic. 
and I'm an alcoholic. What's going on? Hey. Well, I thought it was time to move back in. You're kidding! Nope. Plus, this way I can keep a closer eye on you. I'm better now, Dad. I really am. Sure? How's that therapy going? It's hard. And some days I want to lay down and die. But I don't. And I haven't had anything to drink. Listen, honey, I'm sorry if the problems your mom and I had caused you. No, it's not your fault I was drinking. Or mom's. It's my problem, and I have to fix it. I'm glad to be home. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. You've been such a good friend. <sighs> That's new. What I said about you and Janie was so stupid. I wasn't thinking. And... I know I hurt you. I was wrong. Forget it. Yeah? Yeah. So how are you doing? Better. No more vodka in the water bottle. Well, that's good. You know, I think about that night in Janie all the time. You think that she'll ever forgive us? What happened wasn't your fault. I made the decision to drive that night. You're not responsible. Yes, I was. We all were. <laughs> What are you doing here? I come here all the time. Sometimes I feel like I just need to talk to her. So do I. How you doing? I stopped drinking. It's hard, but... I... I know this is gonna sound crazy, but, um... I've talked to Janie about you. And I don't hate you anymore. Why not? It's just not right. That's really important to me. I really missed you. I missed you too. Meg? Hey, you all dressed up. I'm starting my community service today. At Centennial, of all places. Nervous? Yeah, a little bit. Are you gonna drink anymore? Well, I'm only supposed to think about it one day at a time. But I hope not. I like you better now. I like me better, too.
Do you really think anyone's gonna want to hear me talk about drinking and driving? I would. Yeah, but you're my mom. <laughs> so what's wrong with that? Well, I didn't mean it that way. I know. I'm so sorry about everything that happened. I'm sorry, too. But the one thing I never regret is you're my daughter. And just a few months ago, I was one of you. I went to school here. I sat on the same hard chairs, whispered jokes to my friends. Like most of us, I was sure I knew everything. But then one night, in one horrible minute, my life changed. I'm sorry, excuse me. Lizzie. Lizzie, please. I didn't come here to upset you. Then why are you here? I can't forgive you yet. I don't know if I ever will. But I now realize it could have been you in that seat just as easily as Janie. And it could have been Janie who was driving. She was drinking, too. She should have known better. Make something of yourself. For you and for Janie, she loved you. That's what she would have wanted. sorry. Then, one night my life changed. I drank at a party and left, sure that I could drive. Ten minutes later, I killed my best friend. Now you're all probably thinking, but that can't happen to me. I know. Because whenever I heard a story like mine, I said the same thing. But then it did happen. And my best friend died because I was stupid. What happened to me can happen to you, probably will happen to you, if you make the decision to drink and drive. Believe me, I know. And I will have to live with that memory every day for the rest of my life. <laughs>